I'm gonna be completely honest, this might be the Pyre Keeper build. This build is so good, and it doesn't even have a required oath. Um, on this build, I went Blind Seer. You can go completely whatever oath you want. It literally does not matter as long as it is an oath that can fit these stats, which really, as in terms of stat required oaths, Blind Seer is the only one. Might go oathless. I don't know. It's really a, an open-ended build when it comes to oaths. You can go, quite frankly, whatever you want. Um, here are the stats on what you want pre and post shrine. They're, it's pretty simple. You go pre shrine for to the finish, uh, exoskeleton, ghost, and showstopper, and unwavering resolve. And then post shrine, you get these stats that we can get as our flames, chaotic charm, all that, or not chaotic charm, uh, charismatic cast, and all that stuff. So I have the pirate keeper only one star. I'm not rich, you know. Um, and then with all my kit, I also go uh, Prophet's Cloak because um, of the talent paired with the critical on this weapon makes uh, a pretty high um, pen, outgoing pen critical for basically all, <laughs> stupid enough, all five of the criticals. Um, and then with the rest of these, with everything combined, I have 537 HP. It's not the most. You get a max of... 60 HP from talents. I don't have the bomb talent. You can still get the bomb talent, but um, these are all the talents that you need besides the bomb talents. Uh, and of course, the talents will be in the description as well. And then for my mantras, um, Fireblade is a really good guard break. I like to use it after Flaming Scourge as a good combo. You. Uh, are in close combat with the opponent and you use Flaming Scourge and then right after the opponent lands you use Fireblade and it leads to a guard break and you can lead that up with maybe like a Fire Forge or something or Spine Cutter. Um, Onslaught is fantastic if you slide cancel. I'm not great at slide canceling it but like that you can get momentum and rush the opponent with a Hyper Armor guard break which is really good. Um, considering you have 80 heavy weapon this will do considerable amount of damage um and it will insta guard break as well uh flame leap that's just i don't use this in chimes or in combat i just use this to get around the place uh graceful flame there's really no other good support mantras um and then fire forge with the tornado spark is really good um surprisingly it is better in close in close combat than it is in range. When it comes to ranged combat, I like to use uh, rapid slashes to close the distance, and then um, maybe use an onslaught or something so I can get close and start off a combo. Maybe a fire blade, you know. And then fire forge afterwards because it's really not that good of a range mantra. Um, as you can see, it moves relatively slow. You can speed it up, but uh, this is a pretty ether costly build as I only have 25 charisma. So this build does not have a lot of ether, so modifying this would not be the best idea. So, but as for close range, it has the little um, tornado around you, which creates a lot of bloodless heal when it lands, and that's really important. And then Flame Wisp, of course, with three Eternals. You can also go three Aeons, um, and it makes a really really powerful healing build as well with um fire forge rapid slashes and flaming scourge it's together as a combo really really good now again for the oath it does not matter at all you can go quite frankly whatever you want i chose blinds here because i made this build as a deep bound um again that also doesn't matter ignore my flare but i should probably paint that real quick um but that doesn't matter at all you can go whatever you want and then on top of that um yeah, Origin is whatever, and Oath is whatever you want. Ardor, I would recommend getting instead of Tacit or Rhythm, because with the stats that you have post-Shrine, I messed with the build, I actually got 41 willpower. Um, you can, like, I don't know, you can do whatever you want with the leftover two stats. But anyways, um, with the 40 willpower and 20 strength, you'll be able to get Ardor Scream, which um, is pretty important with... Uh, a Pyre Keeper because these crits are incredibly high damaging and adding, adding damage modifiers on top of that makes a really uh, high damage and critical. That's extremely unfair. Um, for my outfit, um, I really couldn't think of a whole lot to go to go with this. Um, I really like the, the blue that fits with the Pyre Keeper. Um, so 
I'm gonna be honest, this hair is gay kept. I'm not I'm not dropping this yet. But um if you do find this on your own, hair one goes like this, that way it matches with the Capra skull, and hair two just default and same with hair three. And then for the outfit, this uh I th I couldn't really find anything to go with it. I just got I think it's a just a card defender. Yeah, just a card defender and I dyed a blue. It really you can go whatever you want. I just really like overcoats and that's why I decided to pick with this. Um, and then a blindfold. It's kind of hard to see, but when the blind seer goes away, I had this on my old build too, on my uh, katana build. The eyes will go hollow, and it, it, it's really like it's really cool, and I really like it. It's a theme I've kept for the past few builds. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty pretty easy build. Very very high damaging with all the damage modifiers. Um, also pretty defensive as well with ghost and. Uh, the high breach shine fortitude and all the hyper armor talents makes us a very good defensive build as well as high damaging output with the criticals it's quite a fun build you should test it out uh put your own spin on it i'm excited to see what you guys got